y'all big people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to show you all how to clean this um perfume automizer i'm actually pretty shocked at how well that video has done um it seems like you all really really like the tutorial about how to fill these up with perfume i'm going to leave that video linked down in the description box below so that you all can see how do you fill it up but i actually just recently went on a little trip and now it's empty so i want to show you guys number one how to clean it out so that the previous scent isn't still in there and then two how to go ahead and fill it up with another perfume so what i'm going to do here is i want to take a bottle of alcohol it's all alcohol in here and i'm going to take the lid off of it right and i'm going to go ahead and just pump alcohol into the bottle so that it can get clean so i'm going to do that really quick So I'm running into a slight issue here, right? Because the bottom of this atomizer is so small, it's actually not taking the product because this opening is way too big. So that just caused spillage everywhere, right? So I'm gonna try to go find another bottle that's smaller that I could put alcohol in so that I could pump it into here to clean it out. So I'll be right back. I just found this old hand sanitizer bottle that I used from Walmart. And you can see it's completely empty. There's nothing in it. Um, and what's funny is I kept it for the purposes of being able to reuse it at some point. So now the day has come. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this mini bottle up with some alcohol. So I have 91% isopropyl alcohol, right? I'm going to go ahead and fill this bottle up so that I can pump it into my automizer. So let's do that really quick. Oops, making a mess, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just fill this bottle up like this. Okay, like so. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up because I don't need you know the whole bottle to be full. It's just for demo purposes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. And so now we have our alcohol in the bottle, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lid off of here, like so. And I'm gonna um, go ahead and pump the bottle again, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take it here and then just start squirting the product into the bottom of the bottle. Perfect. So as you all can see, now the bottom of this is getting filled with alcohol. I don't know if you all can see the little window as it's filling up, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill it all the way to the top with alcohol, okay? So you'll just keep pumping and pumping and pumping until it's filled all the way up. Yep. And you know, this is gonna be a cool test too to see how many sprays you can actually get out of one of these little atomizers. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. Okay, so mine is now filled to the top. I don't know if you all can see that little window. But now it is completely full okay so from here at the bottom you'll just go ahead and wipe it clean because um, typically it has just a little bit of residue left over from what you previously put in it you hear that sound it sounds like it's draining all of the air out okay so i know some other some previous people mentioned that they had issues with it leaking it sounds like there's some pressure from the from the emptiness that was in the bottle and when you fill it up there was some pressure still left in there so maybe one of the things you might want to do is turn it upside down and let that um, additional air come out because now i'm going to see if it leaks okay because now it's not leaking so that was interesting it never leaked the first time i used it um but maybe because it had all this empty air pressure in it it, it was leaking this time around well no it looks like it's leaking now i don't know Okay, happy people. So I realized that the reason that um, it was leaking during this video is because I had pumped all of that empty air into the bottle. And so after this video, I ended up uh, taking the, um, the automizer and leaving it upside down for, I just left it overnight upside down. And I didn't have that issue anymore because all that excess air had um, gotten out of the bottle. So if y'all are having that issue, that's a tip that might help you guys out. Um, make sure not to pump empty air into it because it will cause leakage. Okay, so now that it's all full, I kind of want to know how many sprays are in the bottle. So I'm going to go through and do 
that but this is also how you clean the bottle as well okay so I'm gonna just take a paper towel here and I'm gonna start to spray it and as I'm gonna keep track of my sprays okay let's see okay so I'm gonna let it start spraying spraying okay so that's one and you can still smell that old perfume in here it's so good mm, I had in here uh, Jimmy Choo I had in here the Jimmy Choo perfume and this stuff is so so good you guys I'm talking this is a nice deep seductive scent absolutely love it but that's what I had in here and you can actually still spray uh, smell it as you're spraying out the alcohol but you'll want to keep spraying it so that was one two three four five six seven we'll go ahead and count these and I'll be back Okay, so I just went through and counted, and you actually get 80 sprays out of one bottle. So that's good to know. So now it is completely clean. As I was spraying it, it started to, the scent for the perfume started to dissipate. So now I feel like it is completely clean. Okay, so that's good. And then from here, you can go ahead and refill it up with any perfume that you want, because now it just smells like alcohol, which is perfect. This is essentially how you clean and sanitize a perfume atomizer. And then really quick, I'm gonna show you guys how to refill it. So again, I had my Jimmy Choo perfume in here. If you all have not familiar with this scent, it is awesome. First off, love the bottle, okay? Super beautiful, super gorge, right? I love the little simple lid, take it off and um, You'll want to just take off the lid of the perfume itself so like so you just wiggle this on off like so okay and then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and um, put the bottom of your perfume onto the spray and then you'll just keep spraying it until it's full okay Okay, so as you all can see, as I'm pumping it, the bottle is starting to get full through that little window here. Okay, and it feels like, I feel pressure here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down. You all see how it's kind of like spewing out a little bit. I think what ends up happening, again, I said, um, again, in my previous video, some people were telling me that they were having issues with um, the perfume leaking out the bottom. I think this is part of what that reason is. There's pressure that comes into the bottle once you've used it up. So when you turn it upside down, it releases that pressure that was in there. So that air that's at the bottom, when you flip it upside down, it releases that pressure, right? So I think that's part of what, what's happening there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling the bottle up. And I guess too, you wanna make sure you don't overfill the bottle. I think that might be another thing as well. So I'm just gonna flip it upside down here. Let the air come on out. Now, I don't like wasting perfume, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that right on me, okay? <laughs> Cause this stuff ain't cheap. All right. Okay, perfect. So now you can see your bottle is all full, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little spritz here just to get it going again. And yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, just wanted to show you all this quick tutorial about how to clean it and also how to refill it again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the links for these products down in the description box below as well as um, the link to some alcohol so you guys can have what you need to clean it as well. But make sure that when you're filling it up that there's no air pressure that's still within the bottle because I honestly think that's what makes it leak. So now, when I turn it upside down, nothing is coming out, right? So if you turn it upside down, and you feel like it's leaking a little bit, what I want you to do is flip it this way, where the spray nozzle is pointing down, 
and let that air come out of the bottle, okay? Or another thing you can do to release that pressure that's in there is to um, just spray out a couple of sprays, like do three or four sprays. That'll release whatever pressures that's stuck inside the bottle. Cause you actually, when I was filling this up, maybe halfway through, I felt pressure like I couldn't really pump it anymore. I think that's what it is. So now I know that there's not gonna be any leakage at all, right? I tap it like this, no leakage, right? So. Yeah, just be mindful of that. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!